Sorry about your. I'm gonna hook up another screen for the first time. Hooking it up. No problem. What if I don't want to clone it? Well, Windows P will give you other choices. So I can have it extend. Bam. So if I do second screen only, hit yes, I can still control it. So let's, <laughs> let me try to do Internet Explorer. Ah, maps. Damn. Internet Explorer? There you go. <laughs> let's say I want to go to paint. So I could start... I could go... So that's pretty cool. Alright, Windows P. And then PC screen only. So, let's do duplicate. Let's try playing a video. So you can see there's a kind of a kind of a delay. I mean, it shows up on the main screen first. It's handling it though. All right, so I'm gonna switch it over to just the second screen. And that's actually 1080p now, not 1366 by 768. So let's see it now. Okay. So yeah, you can actually have tool uh, taskbars on every monitor. You can have a main taskbar and a taskbar where Windows is open. Meaning, say I, I open this and I put it here, I'll get its own. It'll get its own icon on its taskbar, which is pretty cool. So you can be a little more organized that way and have a few. Let's open another one. So cool. Yeah, you can have that and that, and then you have the different ones right here. Bam, bam. So separate taskbars. I always use this in Windows 7, which would be Windows left and Windows right. You can keep going to the other monitor. So it's a quick way to, to keep doing that. Um, I mean, if you want to quickly move an object, uh, if you want to quickly move a window to the other monitor, you hold Windows Shift right, Windows Shift left. See I'm bouncing back and forth? So I can keep bouncing that. Whee! So say I want on the right, Windows right. And say I want on the right monitor, hold Shift right. Go left, right, left, right. So again, that's Windows Shift left or Windows Shift right, and that'll move it to different monitors. It's very useful. Wonder if I hold it. Can I freeze it? Wee! Here's the main screen switching from start to desktop while still on desktop. So it's handling it. I was able to freeze this once by holding Windows and hitting period which what that does is it puts it to the right. I could probably get to freeze. Yep. No. Damn. All right, well, not gonna worry about that. Let's try gaming. Okay, so I have one of my videos that's 720p playing on the TV. I'm gonna switch over to playing Cut the Rope, which I just downloaded, just installed it. Sounds playing on both. <laughs> what is there a story for this game? Oh god. There you go. Next. Yeah, it's running slow. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, I didn't even have to cut that one. Nice.
Come on. Don't crash. Don't crash. Aw, oh, are you serious? You fucking... Oh, man, I'm done. You're an asshole. Hmm, what else? Two videos at once? So it's playing a 720p video on the main display on the right. It has Task Manager open on, up on the left, which is constantly updating. And it has a 720p video on the TV. Let's add more bullshit to this. I'm going to hold Windows and hit Dot, which will move the task around. Ooh, did I fuck it up? So now I have YouTube playing on the left in a little window. It's still playing. I'm going to hit Windows Dot again. And it's still playing. Put it back on full screen. And there you go. You can see it kind of skipping, but still. And I'll hit Windows Dot again. It's in a small window right there. Still somewhat full screen. Go into desktop. And there you go. You can see the CPU usage. And you can see YouTube right here. I'll full screen it. <laughs> it full screen is in that little fucking window, but it's still technically full screen. Oh, the other video stopped. Ah, buffering. Buffering, buffering. Now I have 720p video playing down here, 720p video playing up there, and I'm taking photos. Alright, looks like you're handling it, Mr. Surface. You're handling 720p so efficiently. I mean, yeah, you're skipping a little bit. You're still doing it. I'm very proud of you, Mr. Arm Processor. Very proud. So I think we're done with the test. Oh, this is my solo. So for my last test, I was going to have a 720p video that's not from YouTube play here and a different video play here. Um, but there isn't a desktop application for video and that'll be an issue because with Windows 8 or RT, you only can have Metro app, or <laughs> modern app, whatever the fuck you call it. <laughs> I'll just call it Metro. You only can have Metro apps on one monitor. The other monitors are for desktop only. You can switch around which Metro, like say I do Windows page up, it'll switch it to that. I mean, it did it pretty seamlessly, it did it pretty fast, but I only can have one Metro app. If I try to go to the start menu from here it'll close that out because I only could have one metro thing per monitor windows page up looks like it's handling the 720p video fine switching it back and forth let's go back all right, last test would be doing a YouTube 720p video up here and a 720p actual file, an MP4. It's handling it beautifully, it's handling it nice. So there you go. Okay. Alright, well, that's uh, playing with two monitors. 
Yay. Well, only expect a few more videos because uh, I bought the Surface from my dad and I will be giving it to him and waiting for the Pro. So, expect uh, two more videos before I give it away. Bye boy for now. Boy. Boy. For now. Two. Someone requested I play a game called Box Heads to Play. Hmm. Doesn't look like I was able to open that. Or is this what he was talking about? Box Head to Play. Hmm. Doesn't look like that opens. Hmm. Sorry, man. I can't play it. Okay.